Welcome back. Into area 5A we go, aka the secret area. In with a bang. We just lose our power up just like that. Wonder if there's going to be any on-off switches. Also, I'm willing to think that the item in that one item block where it seems like something despawned in Forest of Illusion 3, it could have been a balloon, or it could have been a Yoshi wing. Because both of those move, and they could have easily appeared behind the tree, the tree background. Whatever it is. Alright. Guess it's time for a little bit of spin jumping. Taking advantage of those saws in that way. Ow! Once again. Hmm. Hmm. At least the goal's right there. I'm willing to bet that Forest Forest Fortress is probably going to be repetitive in the second half. Probably borrowed from one of the other castles or fortresses. By the way, it's just called Fortress. Start out right away with a feather, hoping not to lose it. And thankfully no auto-scroll here. Prompt loss of the feather just like that. Prompt sprite limit too. I would think. Get rid of you. And this is new. Appropriate, appropriately placed for the thwomp, by the way. Left ledge. By the way, why must the red koopa actually turn into a koopa that falls when it goes into the yellow shell? Blue ones stay on ledges, red- the yellow ones don't. Blue and red stay on ledges, yellow and green don't. Yellow and green... Appropriately being considered, in some cases, the opposites. Either by primary light color, or by primary pigment color. Red and green by pigment. Yellow and blue by light. And white is nerdy. <laughs> Why must the potaboos be right there? They're gonna be a P-switch no, there isn't. Instead, it's gonna be a bullet bill launcher. What now? Door's probably gonna be the one all the way to the right. Where there used to be one-ups. Just waiting. Waiting for something to happen. <clears throat> something probably will happen. Something did not happen. Thank you. Thank you, life. You don't have to be a pain. The pain that causes us to die. They say life is, and then you die. Didn't seem to be the case this time. Nope. Not repetitive yet, but there's going to be a layer 2 smash, I think. Yep, fast smash. That's borrowed from the Valley Fortress. <clears throat> so be wary of it. Screen scrolling allows you to avoid those falling spikes, but not the layer 2 spikes. 
especially not those big ones right there. Those ones are just plain deadly. Now I'm waiting. And you kill me. That was kind of unfair. Mushroom might compensate for it. No, it didn't. And yet, there's still no halfway point in this level. At least I don't think. Hopefully we know where all the fireballs are. I can only hope. Well, I made it here with a feather, but then I had to promptly lose it by my own stupidity. I didn't lose that power up by my own stupidity. I think we're near the boss. Now be super careful. Don't want to do the level from scratch over again. Still no halfway point. Unless I magically found one somewhere new. Ugh. Gee, that level was actually kind of hard. At least it unlocks another star road. But anyhow. It's down to Roy's castle next. An interesting little background up there. Guess we're going... No, we're not going outside the castle. But we do have more layer 2 over here. And a little more reason to be paranoid. <laughs> Mucky old me. I'll take that even though it'll prove utterly useless. Maybe not that useless. I'd probably still find some use for it. But who cares? And they're just like Super Mario Bros. 3, aren't they? Skipped one. Now we got the ledge doing it. Ooh. Close one. Let's go ahead and scroll this a bit. Boom. Up here now. And this level is going to be a lot easier because of the halfway point. Ooh, and I like that background right there. Obviously not a layer 2 scroll, so I can feel comfortable about that. However, I cannot feel comfortable about this tricky jump. Not that tricky, though. Yeah. Oh, rats. I didn't notice there were spikes there. And I should have paid attention to those. Can you fall? Hold up. Therefore, you can grab onto that. And we return back to the Layer 2 Smash. This time it's a fast one. Is it going to be a generic fast one, though? That's... 
probably gonna be more like Valley Fortress as opposed to Wendy's Castle. But who knows? It's time to screen scroll. Should I really run like that? Yep, it's like Roy's castle. Ow! Jeez. In before I lose my power-ups, maybe? Maybe not. Now I gotta be crazy and get that P-switch. A hard way. Could have just had a turn block, you know. Because I could just jump up like that. Hmm. Whew. And that could have easily killed me, too. So why me? Why me do that? At least that wall can save me a bit. Into that door. And now what? It's probably gonna be a little more layer two smash. Could be. Nope. It's something simple like this. And I bet that's a P switch with a door. Question is, where's the door? Right down there. Time for some slow scroll. Okay. Not that used to the slow scroll, you know. But then again... Hey. Having slow scroll in the same level as fast scroll when there are normal spikes... ...just feels kind of awkward. That was actually a short room, by the way. And there goes Roy. <sighs> Owned. Hard to notice that I broke the million point mark just a little while ago, I think. Anyway, kaboom on Mario. And the message is, once again, unchanged. After this, we now have Chocolate Island 1, aka World 6-1. <coughs> We're probably back to the easy levels now. Although, I can't be so certain about the chocolate ghost house. There's probably a surprise awaiting. If the original level was hard, this one was probably going to be harder. Invisible coin block, or no? Yes. We can go in here. And effectively return to nostalgia, I think. Only this time it's dark, and the rhinos are gray. Nah, I won't take Yoshi this time. However, I'm not gonna take a drop either. I will, however, feel more nostalgia with those dolphins. And the porky puffer fish. Into the pipe we go. 
flying. How long without touching the ground? Darn. Oh well. Goal. <clears throat> Another ghost house. I hope this isn't hard. Well, as long as there's no fishing boo, because those automatically amp up the difficulty by a power. In accordance with the number of ghosts there. This already suggests that it could be hard. Again, maybe not. Kinda worried though. At least I got past that one spike that killed me last time. But does this level have sections that'll send me backwards? I certainly hope not. That'd be too much of a challenge for a save stateless. For an obvious reason. Please don't kill me now. Hmm. By the way, I think my screen might be off-center a little bit. Not too much, but... Not to bug me. By next time, I'll... I'll have it fixed. Anyway, in we go. Into the water. Yeah, it's definitely off-center for now. Gotta watch out for the ghosts, and I'm going to bet that door is the exit, so I might not have to worry. Except for getting there, of course. And those ghosts... No exception. They are true agony. Had to rub it in with a water level, by the way. out now, but it's probably not going to be that way. It, it is going to be that way. <sighs> okay, ignore the next few seconds as I'm going to try and center it a bit. That'll probably have to do. Anyway, see you next time.